Thanks for tuning in. So today's tutorial is a little special to me because um, it kind of means a little bit to me not to get all emotional, but I am originally from Cali, from Cali, from, from Cauliflower. I'm originally from Cali, so I don't live there now. I live really far actually on the total other side of the United States. I live in Massachusetts, so I am working towards moving back there one day but as of now the opportunity has not shown itself so I haven't but um, I miss it every day and I think about it all the time so I really just wanted to do a look that made me feel like I'm back there which is this this is like a common look I would wear every day on a sunny day in California so I really hoped you liked it I got the inspiration from a Mojave Desert picture because the Mojave Desert is part Part of California or there's a part of it in California and also the sunset in the picture really reminds me of the West Coast sunsets because they're totally different from the East Coast so I hope you liked it and if you want to learn how to do it all you got to do is keep watching bye so the first thing we're gonna do for this look is we're gonna prime our lid I'm using my huge my Kat Von D primer and skin it's a color correcting primer, so it's going to kind of blink our lid out a little better than a translucent one. Alright, the next thing I'm going to use is a MAC paint pot. I mean, not paint pot, a MAC um, pigment. <laughs> and it's called Vanilla Loose Pigment Powder. And I'm gonna use a stiff dome brush like this, a nice little one. I'm gonna dip it in there, and we're gonna put this all over our lid. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is take a Makeup Forever Star Powder in 940. It has like a golden pinkish undertone. It's another duotone powder, and that's how we're gonna get this effect on the lid by putting two different duotones on top of each other. It just kind of changes the finish of it. So it pops a little more. Right, now I'm going to grab my 88 color neutral palette from BH Cosmetics and I'm going to use this really golden bronzy color right here. It's very metallic. Whoa! <laughs> and I'm going to take a small crease brush like this and I'm going to build that slowly right in my crease. After you get your crease color, we're going to get our defining color, and I'm going to use the same palette, but I'm going to go in with this really coppery bronze, deep dark bronze. With the same brush, I'm going to put it in between my lid and my crease color. You came on. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is transition the crease color to the brow. So, I'm going to take this matte, um, kind of sorbet orange color right here with a fluffy blending brush. And I'm just going to lightly blend the edges out of our crease color. Then I'm going to take a vanilla color like this. It's a satin, so it has a hint of um, sheen to it. With the same blending brush, and I'm going to blend that color out to the brow. All 
All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is take that color we put in our crease, that golden copper, and I'm gonna take a small crease brush, and I'm gonna put it on the lower lash line. Then I'm gonna take our defining color right here, the one we used to define the eye, with the same small crease brush, and I'm gonna put it right here on top of our crease color but keeping it mostly at the outer corner. All right, so that's it for shadows. Super easy, I know. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is eyeliner. So I'm gonna take my favorite Makeup Forever black eyeliner. You can use any black eyeliner. And this part's really important, you guys, because um, the way we did our wing, we didn't bring it all the way in. So we need this inner area to be dark and defined so it doesn't um, wash the eye out. So this part's important. So we're gonna tight line with our black liner. Then to make it a little bit blacker, um, a little more blacker than the pencil can provide, I'm going to use Too Faced, um, the three-way lash lining tool. I use this in other videos. The writing came off, sorry. I use it a lot. And we're going to do the same thing we did on underneath to the top. Alright, then take your black pencil again and just softly go over the edges if you use the three-way um, and just kind of blend the edges out so it's not a harsh line. Now I'm going to take an indigo blue um, eyeliner. The one I'm using is by Sephora. It's a waterproof cream liner. It's called the Deep End. Um, they have a liquid liner that's just like it and it's actually easier to achieve this look with it because you don't have to do the step I'm going to do after this. But yeah, this is what I have. So I'm just using it. Okay, don't judge me. So I'm going to use an angled eyeliner brush and I'm just going to dip it in. And I'm going to start creating our wing. So this is the extra step that we're about to do that I mentioned before and it'll be a lot easier if you do want to recreate this look that you just go to Sephora and get the liquid liner that is the same blue as this and then it'll be a lot more pigmented than this. So the only reason I'm doing this is because I want it to be brighter than it is when it comes out. So I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics palette, um, first edition. And I'm going to take this indigo blue that's in there. I use it a lot. It's my favorite. So I'm going to take a nice little smudge brush. And I'm just going to go over the liner we just put on. And I'm going to press it in. Alright, and the last step for eyes is mascara. So I'm going to use the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Volumizing Mascara. And the brush is kind of weird and awkward. I don't enjoy it too much. <laughs> but it does give a good effect, so that's why I let it stick around. So we're just going to do our top lashes today and leave the bottom alone. Alright, so we're done with eyes. It's that easy to get this nice, beautiful, glamorous look. Let's move on to cheeks. So, um, I got something new the other day, so I was excited to use it. It's Too Faced, the bronze, and the beautiful French Riviera edition. Um, it's just a bunch of bronzers and highlighters, and then it comes with a primed and poreless. But I'm going to use the Chocolate Soleil. It's a matte 
bronzer and I'm going to use my fan brush and I'm just going to get that on the edges and I'm using a fan brush because I really want this bronzer to be diffused and very soft right here um, I don't want it to be too chunky so a fan brush is a great tool to get that effect so I'm just going to start underneath my cheekbone and kind of bring it downwards at an angle Bronzer is something you definitely want to build upon. You don't want to put a bunch on at once because once you put a bunch on, it's harder to blend it out. So it's easier to just kind of put a little on, take a step back, look and see if that's how you want it, and then add a little more if you need to. I think that's good for the cheek. We're nice and sculpted. I'm going to continue to bring the bronzer on the outer perimeters of the face and down the neck. Alright, then I'm going to put a little pop of color on the cheek so it gets a little accentuated and looks nice and full. I'm using NARS Taj Mahal. It's a very burnt orange. Uh, it's very warm. I'm going to use a nice soft angled brush. And with a little bit at a time, you don't want this to be too much. Just make sure this is something you build also. We're going to put it right here on the high parts of our cheekbone. I'm not going to bring it up here. I just want to keep it right on the apple of the cheek. Alright, and then after we have our blush on, we're going to do a little highlighting on top of the cheekbones. So I'm going to go back in with my um, The Bronze and the Beautiful by Too Faced. And it has this really beautiful, super golden highlight. I'm going to use a precision brush. And there's probably a lot of eyeshadows that look like this. You can use that too. You can use a gold eyeshadow for your highlighter. Why not? So I'm just going to... Build this again on the high parts of my cheekbones and kind of blend it into that blush. And start going around the eyebrow like a C shape. And then I'm also going to put a little right here between my jawbone and where I contoured just to kind of highlight it a little bit. Alright, so the last step is the lips. So I'm going to line my lips with a nude pencil. Any nude pencil will do. It doesn't have to be special. And I'm going to line the outside. And then I'm going to use the lipstick by Laura Mercier called Rose Quartz. It's a really pale pink like that. Alright, so then after the lipstick, I'm going to apply a little bit of gloss with a similar color. This one's by Urban Decay. It's called Peroxide. So we're just going to apply a little with our finger. Alright guys, so that concludes our California Mojave Desert look. I really hope you liked it. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.